Hi, this is Dean Wedekin with MaxiLift. Today I'm here with Bo Fisher, Vice President of Sales for North America and Europe. There's a lot of other features of uh, bucket elevators that are, are really important. So what about the speed of the buckets? What difference does that make depending on the product that you're handling? You know, you know it's interesting. Free-flowing materials um, by nature are easier to handle than, than just about anything else. So they flow into the elevator at, at a good rate. They consistently fill in the buckets and they consistently discharge. So we calculate and, and have a, a reliable speed chart that MaxiLift publishes it's on our website or in our catalogs um, that we use for those, those types of applications. But anytime you're moving something different than those free flowing grains, uh, for instance, back to uh, the mashes and meals and those kinds of things, they don't free flow. Um, they tend to move in mass. Uh, they can be uh, sticky, especially like feed mash, which might have a lot of fat or molasses in it as a binder. Um, those things tend not to move as efficiently. And so in order for us to move those in a bucket elevator and, and get good fill and discharge, we actually have to slow the elevator down. Generally, it's a reduction of somewhere between 15 and 25% of the uh, recommended speed for the free flowing material. Um, and by doing that, it allows more time for the material to both fill in the buckets and for that air to escape, hopefully right. through vented buckets, right. and also to, uh, to discharge in the head and release from the buckets and, and make it to the discharge throat. So um, speed is critical. Uh, you know, it's, bucket elevators are never a one size fits all. Uh, right. O oftentimes you, when we're, we're selling buckets into a feed mill application, customer will say, well, this is a receiving leg and I, I receive corn and soybeans and, and salt and, and uh, right. you know, all kinds of screenings and DDGs. And so the question becomes, okay, well, how important is it for you to be efficient moving those more difficult to handle commodities versus how often you run in the elevator to handle yeah. the corn and soybeans. Right. Right. And we try to accommodate based on their response there and let them know that one way or the other, they're not going to be as efficient. So, um, and that's always a challenge unless of course, unless they've got a variable uh, frequency drive on the elevator, which uh, allows them to adjust speed and, and uh, accommodate the different applications. Right. And that gets into a, a whole other area considering <laughs> the, the drive system of the bucket elevator, but definitely a, a variable speed drive is very helpful, especially in an application like a feed mill where they are receiving a lot of different products, right. different weights uh, and densities, and so they can adjust how fast it's running. Uh, most of uh, our customers probably don't have variable speed drives. Something that could be useful in most situations though is a soft start sure. to get a bucket elevator going in the beginning uh, especially our customers who are living in the northern climates, where you might want to start off that uh, bucket elevator slowly in the winter, get it warmed up, get the belt warmed up, right. uh, where you have less chance of the uh, the belt burning through because it's so cold and it's been sitting there overnight. Yeah, uh, I would guess you probably have dealt with that a few times. <laughs> of course, especially uh, in, uh, to our neighbors uh, across the northern border there, that's, right. uh, that's certainly a consideration that we run into. We'd like to invite you to contact us. Let us know what are some of the issues that you've had, that you've seen out there, problems that you'd like to have addressed, or questions you'd like us to bring up and talk to you about. Get in touch with us. Go to our website, maxilift.com, and uh, call us or send us an email. But for today, I'm Dean Wedekin with MaxiLift, once again here with Bo Fisher, Vice President of North American and European Sales. We've been glad to be here with you today. We look forward to hearing from you in the future. Thank you.